Hello there, I'm Andrew Hill. Welcome back to Semi U4. It's 15th of November, it's 1697, and we are Byzantium snaking our way through to Europe. Chauncey, what's up, buddy? And it asks, have you ever played a Sweden? I have. It was a wonderful time. But I found them extremely powerful. Sweden is a fantastic country with 20% infantry combat ability in its traditions, 5% in its, its third idea of discipline, sorry, 20% manpower recovery speed, manpower modifier, leader shock, and goods produced. It's such a fantastic nation militarily. It sometimes isn't even, it's just like, oh, cool, I win. <laughs> I consider it definitely one of the easier countries to play. I'm going to see if I can kind of rush these guys down right now. I think we should probably try... Tell you what, let's... Get my air command. Let's get to Prague. Russia's easy, but I don't know. Sweden's pretty easy as well, once you get the grips to it. Rush is still making their way over there. It's taking a little while, but we'll make it'll get there in the end. Ooh, Denmark forces have landed in Africa. Did not expect that. That's very strange. Right, we're sieging down Prague. Oh, dude, there's actually a very good chance I think we can get this. Just very quick. Very quick indeed. Oh, I think I actually have some more power I can get. Nope, not yet. 90. Ah, oh, May. I see, I knew I was right. And the admin power is May. 1st of May. Cool. That'll be really good to just try and get all these cores out of the way. I actually can't piece out until these cores are done. There's just too many. Siege of Oberflats. Oh, beautiful. Stately appointed members. Oh, admin power. Yes. We're basically getting tons of sieges and tons of awesome victories for free. Which is very nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah, they can't... They can't really beat me. Denmark and Norway are definitely a problem, but Russia will take care of them. They just need to get their act in gear. Just hurry up, please. I really wish I'd gotten quality rather than quantity, but here we are. And that's the Siege of Berlin, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're going to rush to Kohlberg. As we continue to siege down everything. And that's that siege right there. Go to Stetten now. No, sorry. Sachsen. Uh, Saxon. Saxon. Yes, Saxon. Or station? No, it's, it's Saxon. Saxon. Oh, yeah, and there's the rest of the boys moving up north, fighting the Swedish. There's still forces in the south I can continue, but I'll use that 30k stack to swivel down south. Lithuania are picking some up. Mamluks, Afghanistan, and Fars are here. But it does look like they actually don't have enough AE, although, of course, the Mamluks do. Um. Actually, let's declare war on the Mamluks in case they start to join a coalition. Hello, goodbye. There we are. Because I really do not want to have to deal with them. Oh, they have very few troops at all, so that's great. So we can just siege them down and then we'll call them when the time comes. There's the siege of Prague. Beautiful. Why does it keep defaulting to culture? Go back to diplomacy. Thank you. Oh, hello. Hmm. Run on down, boys. Take your time. T take your time. There you go. 17th and 22nd. Perfect. We got this. There is 30k still coming, though. Victory. There it is in Saxon. We did lose a lot of men. But Saxon is... I am. We won the siege. Oh, there it is. Okay. Looking very good. We also have no loans, which is very nice. Hey, cornflakes. Oh, no, you lost your sub. I'm so sorry, buddy. You must have had it a month. You got it. Must have been a month ago you were gifted it. That sucked, buddy. Oh, my water was on the wrong. 
And the two emotes are on their way as well. How exciting. I'm like really, really ready for that. Okay. Our war exhaustion is a little bit high, but it's being dealt with nicely. So we're going to send that guy back up that way. Sirios. We're going to get rid of that and start moving him north. <laughs> you never have to buy subs, apparently. You just keep getting given, gifted subs. Isn't that nice? <laughs> That's hilarious. All right. So let's just go here. I love people who give subs. They're just so selfless and kind. That's just such a nice thing to do. Jesus. Thanks a lot, Cassiano Craft. You're the best. You and Mr. Reality are like, oh, so good. So kind. <sighs> Should not have taunted me. You did taunt him, to be fair. You're so, so good. <gasps> did you manipulate him? Miss Lee, what's up? What's up, buddy? Welcome. How you doing, my friend? Okay, we're just continuously weakening forces. Ooh, they're being sneaky-like. Uh, let's rotate east. Bavarian forces are still existing. Isn't good. They're trying to bring some men down there. Trying to get in the way, I think. Maximilino, what's up, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for that follow. How are you doing, Missy? What is up with you? Alright, we're doing good. We're doing very good. That's true if we can break them real quick. Uh, there is a large number of men here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Head this way. Let's start and just grab a few sieges here. And I think maybe we don't need this many men. Yeah, we don't. We don't need this many men. We'll leave behind ten ca uh, ten cannons. But let's go south. Otherwise, they're gonna get their butts pushed off. That's right. Pushed off. You heard it here first, guys. Ah, rebels in the north. Two of a kind. Production efficiency. Or admin power. Ah, uh, production efficiency. Now. I actually would like that because I really don't really want this missionary strength, dude. Nice. Look at that. And there's some tru uh, more truces, unfortunately. He also just got Napoli. Hey, look at that. We get the defensive bonus. Ooh, let's be a bit careful now. They're, start they're starting on us. They're trying to take back as many sieges as they can, I think. So we need to be really careful we don't get baited into a fight. Because I think it's going to be very easy to do. Okay. Manpower's looking really good. You played Imperator Romo, I was just doing a Magna Grecia game, it's really fun. Yeah, I haven't played it since the most recent updates, actually. Um, I, I liked it for what it was, but then I stopped playing. I've got, I got 100 hours in it, and then I kind of stopped. I was just kind of looking, I was kind of letting it kind of catch up and get patched and improve before I went back to it. Okay. Some easy fights here, which is great. We are getting a lot of enemy sieges, unfortunately. And oh my god, the Danish are here. Danish, please. I need you to stop. Denmark, please. Well, the Russian armies are here. Hopefully, they will siege down Sweden a bit. Okay. I think they're going to go and try and relieve Potsdam. We just we won that battle nicely. Make sure we don't die. Those are woods. These are woods. Okay, stack up a little bit. But lots of little sieges for us, which is great. Unfortunately, they are being able to grab quite a few free bits of land, which I really don't like. I need to nip this in the bud, and I need to get this now. Oh, and I almost forgot to get my various and sundry things. 
So we're gonna grant an admiral ship. No, actually we're gonna draft ships for war. Oh, that lowers loyalty, damn. Boop. Admin support, woo! We're gonna seek support of clergy. We're gonna recruit that minister. I can't do much else. But boom. That helps a lot and gets me a little bit closer. And oh, you know what? I have not been paying attention. How does enlightenment spawn? Yes. It's it's all university bases, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. All right. Province owner ruler has a diplo, military, or administrative skill. Oh, actually, I don't. Do I? No, I don't. Hmm. I actually don't remember how the Enlightenment spawns. Let me check. Let's take a look. Okay. Uh, it'll begin. Yeah. See, and uh, Europe's owner and its owner's ruler are one of the following: has a seat in Parliament or has a university building. Oh, cool! Because I have so many things. It's gonna be great. Port capital of region is closed over the little Blair. Has a seat in Parliament is base percentage five. So I'm, I'm gonna spread really fast because of all the parliaments I got. Nice, and all the universities as well. That'll be fine. Okay, cool. Um, we're good. I'm no longer nervous. Sister update Imperator Rome is soon going live. That means money main mana points will be removed. Oh, they're actually going to remove mana points, aren't they? Oh, hell yeah. Because that was always a temporary thing at best, wasn't it? Oh, Denmark needs a new ruler, apparently. He's 34. There'll be a noble from Van Hollenzollen. Oh, Jesus. Please, no. Right, uh, let's move these guys south as well. They are gearing up. Get him. Nope, I won't be able to kill them fast enough. It's fine. We need to come, we need to make some kills now. We need to make some kills right now. Because they're gonna get a lot of troops very soon. Oh man, there's so many dudes here. A ho 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 Helen Zerlin ruler. <laughs> ho 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 Helen Zerlin. Halfway to getting down getting that um a beautiful vassal annex, which is great. Need to work on these guys. Ah, damn. I should have refilled the garrison. That's what I should have done. Damn it. I'm afraid I have to keep you all here because otherwise you won't get as much beautiful siege bonus. What are you going to take from the coalition Europe? <laughs> oh, salt shakes. No, no, no. I already beat the coalition, salt shakes. I already won. This is the second war I declared as soon as the truce was up on Bavaria to call in Brandenburg to extend the truce timers. And there has already been a coalition fire, uh, not fired, but building up on me. But they're now too weak. It's just them. I basically have split Eastern Europe and Western Europe apart in coalitions so they can't attack me. It's amazing. Immediately after this war, I will indeed trigger another coalition war as well. Uh, sorry, trigger the Western coalition war. Ah, it's a moth. So that they can't... Go away, go, go away. No. So they can't bully me too much. Okay. There's the Siege of Nuremberg. Damn. Okay, we're going to have to start moving south. I think we can probably move north, actually. Oh, shit. Ah, they, they, oh, they baited me. They baited me! France just me. No, France just was crap. They saved me the whole time. Look forward to watching it on YouTube, my friend. Looks like we're going to lose a lot of sieges in the south, but that's fine. That's fine. Oh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Son of a... Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> Come on, get him. Ah, they got Versberg. Uh, Mamluks are actually causing a bit of a problem, I won't lie. I might recruit a small army to try and take care of them. 
Go, go, powder strangers. Okay, here we go. So we're making moves. Uh, we should be fine now. Now I'm just going to try and siege down Brandenburg as much as possible. I would quite like to separate piece the crap out of him. If at all possible, please. And I'm actually just going to start leaving sieges everywhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Amazing. Because you really don't need that many more. I'm just going to start basically just kind of dropping soldiers everywhere. So as to make sure I can get these little sieges and I can take free territory for free. The name Prapes of the Mediterranean. Oh, I didn't even realize. That looks so good. That looks so nice. I like that a lot. It could be better, yeah. Once I take all of Europe, it'll be better, don't worry. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We did lose more men than them, but very easy little victory there. Damn, they have force march on. Ah, oh, 99%. Are you joking? 99. Alright, there we go. Let's go get him. Let's go get him, lads. Ah, oh, very good. Well, I think what we can do is we can probably just beat back um, Brandenburg now. There's nothing that comes together. So we do have 45. So if I take... Let's, let's, let's just see if I can take every single claim. I would like that amazingly. I can. I can take every claim. Ooh, that's nice. So I could take every single claim on Brandenburg. And probably another one. I might take that so I can get... Oh, I can get rid of the... Freaking fort. That would be magical. Still no imperialism. No, I'm actually losing diplo power, or I was just slightly because of the annexation of Aragon. But once that's done, I'm going to be able to, I'm going to keep my vassals in the east, Hungary and Lithuania. And then I can just finally focus on getting imperial, imperialism, imperialism. I also have expansion ideas I need to finish out soon. I really also wanted to finish this, this, but damn. Oh, I will be dissolving HRE. Don't you worry. Um, actually, uh, I don't need that just yet. Right, Prestige is very easy to come by, so it's not its not really a concern of mine. I'm just basically going to ruin Brandenburg very slowly. I think I probably should maybe take near 100. I should probably take 100, shouldn't I? The problem is, it's only 32 AE, uh, overextension even. And my overextension just disappears very shortly. And I get zero from the other ones. So yes, I should probably take that and then stay at war with Bavaria until like until i absolutely oh i might be just about to take can i just take bavaria i might be able to fully annex bavaria genuinely possible yes i'm considering shattering them into smaller nations indeed Coalition is going to be there until you eat them indeed but now i can now i've got the western and eastern guys on separate coalition timers so it's going to be very easy to kind of break them apart. I should wait for them to get locked in. Okay. Where's that other army I had? Oops. Okay, you go west. Because at the moment there is a 20k stack that's sitting there. Great. Okay, Brandenburg is basically dead. And I'm I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Okay, ooh, here they come. Let's go help them out a little bit. Let's go, let's go. Back them up and split them up. Let's get this 38k there and that 38k to the south. You can consider me a fan. 
I do consider you a fad. I know you are. You're lovely. We do have a pretty big Swedish army here. Proving a problem. Let's go. Oh, you know what? No, here we go. Here we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. How many times have you managed to get a 666 ruler? God, I haven't had a 666 ruler in a very long time. Genuinely quite a long time. Um, I think probably the last time was when I was playing Prussia, because you do get, you know, you actually get bonuses to it. We did just unfortunately lose an army. Not an entire army, but we did lose a battle, which is quite distressing. However, that is it for the episode, guys. Do be sure to leave me a like and a comment on this video. Let me think of the series so far. I was Aldred. I continue to be in this. has been E4 Byzantium. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.